Hello and welcome to another JavaScript video from Nilla Vision. Today I will teach you how to solve a very common problem when you are designing a responsive and flexible websites. Quite often you would want automatic heights on your blog elements so that they will adapt to the content. But sometimes you would want some columns or some other rows of blog elements to have the same height and still have the height uh, adjusted to the content. Here you can see an example with four floating elements with uh, automatic heights, but it doesn't look very good. And when we resize the window, it gets even worse. Now let me just show you a demonstration of the script we will be coding today. Now I have uh, reloaded the page with the JavaScript and you can see that all the columns now match the height of the highest element and that will make the layout look a lot better. Uh, and it works very well on uh, different resolution and screen sizes as you can see. Okay, so let's start coding the web page. I've created a new uh, HTML document in Dreamweaver. You can use any text editor you want of course. First of all, I will create a main div to wrap all the content on the side and I'll give it an ID of page and I'll close it off. Then I will uh, add a heading and now we can create a container div for all the boxes or columns. I'll give it an ID of box container. And uh, the boxes themselves could be uh, any type of block element, but I've chosen to use sections. Each section will contain a heading and some text. And I'm just gonna copy the first section here and paste it in a couple of times. So now we've got four boxes uh, on the page, but the code we will uh, be creating will uh, support any amount of elements. In the browser, it doesn't really resemble boxes, so uh, we we'll need to add a bit of styling to the page. First of all, uh, we'll give our main wrapper a width of 70%. And then we'll just add some margin here to center the page. Then we'll uh, set up some rules for the boxes. So we'll just uh, target every section in the box container like this and um, we are going to give it a width of 20% and we can also give it a minimum width to uh, prevent them uh, from being too narrow on small screens. Then we're going to float them left so we have them side by side and we'll also add a bit of marking and padding to our boxes and uh, we'll give them a background color, a nice orange color here. We can see that it actually looks pretty good now in the browser, but that's only because every box has got the same amount of content. Now I have gone ahead a bit and created different content for each box. And I've also added that div uh, below with the CSS property of clear both to make sure that it stays below the floating elements. And the idea now is that we will create a script that will store the height of the highest element, no matter what element that is, in this case it's box 4, and then assign that height to all the elements. Just before the closing body tag here, I'm gonna add a script block for the JavaScript. Uh, script type text JavaScript. And then I'll just close the script tag below. Within uh, this script, uh, we're now going to create our main function. Function, and uh, let's call it align heights. 
then we need to add argument parentheses and curly brackets for the function body. Inside the function body, we are going to create some variables to start with. We will uh, create a variable called tallest, and we are going to give that an initial value of zero. Next, we will need to uh, target the box uh, elements. And uh, as you can see, uh, our sections here have no uh, IDs. So we're actually going to target their parent div. Um, and I'm going to store that in a variable called the container. And then I'm just going to get that element by its ID. And uh, the ID was box container. In order to get every section in that container, we can uh, collect them in an array. And I'm just going to call it box array. And uh, then we can access a property of the container element. And that property is going to be its children. That way, every section in the container meaning every box is stored in an array. Now we need to create a for loop. And I've explained earlier how to iterate through an array with a for loop. Uh, we create a, an index variable with a value of zero. And for as long as this uh, index variable is less than the length of the array, then we're going to increase its value by one and run the loop again. So the loop will run for as long as there are items in the array. You can watch some of my earlier tutorials if you need more details on how to iterate through an array. But this is uh, the standard method to do that. Inside the for loop body or for, for loop execution. Actually, I don't know what the correct term is. But anyway, inside here, we will uh, create a variable called this height. And that variable will store the height of the current box for every iteration through the loop. Uh, so we're going to set it equal to box array index offset height. That way we uh, capture the height for every element. And then we're going to create an if statement uh, and in the conditions here we're going to check if our captured height uh, variable is more than our tallest variable and if that is true then we're simply gonna assign that uh, current height to the tallest variable so every time there's an element which is higher than the tallest variable then the tallest variable is going to have a new value. First I was just thinking that we could uh, do something like this uh, inside the for loop. We could just uh, we could just assign the tallest height to our elements uh, like this. For every element, we could change its style height properties to the value of the tallest variable, and then just remember to add pixels at the end. Uh, but that's actually not going to work as uh, expected. I'm going to show you this in just a minute. We just need to uh, make sure that our function uh, executes. So uh, we will call it from down here align heights. Actually, we'll put it in a uh, window onload event uh, so that when the browser has loaded the page, then the function will be executed. Align heights. And as we can see in the browser, it didn't look quite as we expected. We can see that the first box doesn't have the same height as the other boxes. And that is because uh, we are only running the loop once. And on the first run through the loop, then uh, box 1 was higher than uh, the 
tallest variable, which was zero. So the value of box one is just assigned to box one. Second time around, box two is uh, the highest, uh, but it doesn't go back and assign that value to box one, of course. Uh, in the case of box three, then it's actually the height of box two that is applied there because box three isn't higher than our tallest variable at that time in the loop. So we need to type some additional code to fix this. Let me just state that uh, the solution I came up with here is uh, just the first that came into my mind, and I'm sure a real programmer could uh, show you better ways to iterate through an array twice and uh, assign new values the second time around. But uh, this will work just fine. And the way I go about it is simply to execute this uh, style assignment code in a new for loop just below the first for loop. If we save it now and open it in a browser, we can see that uh, everything is working correctly, uh, except when we resize the window. But we can uh, fix that by executing the function on a resize event as well. So uh, just under our onload event, I'm going to add a window on resize event and call it function from here. But if we call the function again, on resize, then we have to remember that the function uh, has already been executed once, so the offset height now will be the actually the height that was assigned to each element the first time the function was executed. So we need to reset the height to the original state, and we do that by simply assigning a value of auto to the style height property on each element. And we do that as the first thing in the for loop here. So every time the function is running, then the offset height is now back to the original state before the new heights are applied. But apparently it's not working correctly yet, at least not here in Firefox. So uh, we need to add one more little tweak to the code. I think it happens because the resize function is running before the default resizing of the auto height elements happen. So we will uh, need to delay the execution of the on resize function a bit. I've just changed the code so that the window on resize now trigger an anonymous function in order to organize things a bit. Inside the function, I'm going to use the built-in JavaScript timer set timeout. Uh, the set timeout function is uh, taking two parameters. The first is the function, and that is going to be our align heights. The second parameter is going to be the, the amount of delay before the align height uh, function is executed. And I'm just going to set that to uh, 200 milliseconds which is about a quarter of a second. And as you can see, everything is running smooth now. So uh, finally, we're done with the script. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, critique, or ideas for improvement, please uh, feel free to use the comment box below. You're also welcome to contact me uh, on my website. There's a contact form there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.